This episode of Quality and Training Purposes is brought to you by Pints with Aquinas. You're speaking with Cathy from the city of Adelaide. Can I start with your name? Yeah, it's James. Is this sorry? Is this call being recorded for Quality and Training Purposes, Cathy? Yes, it is. Oh, so good. Yes. How may I help you? Yeah. So I'm just I'm concerned with some of the buildings that are going mm-hmm. up in the city. I'm a big believer okay. in public uh, beautification. That beauty is one of the transcendental things that can affect us mm-hmm. and, and show us, you know, yep. and that like a, yep. having a high ceiling and a big facade and like all these <laughs> principles yep. of um, your classic and even Gothic architecture can really improve yep. our souls. Yeah. But then, you know, with the modern architecture going up, just glass boxes that make you want to die, you know? Yeah. Low I get ceilings, that. There's a lot of, yeah. you know, small imaginations. Yeah. So my thought was if I called the city council who have approval on yaying and naying uh, building designs, like if I call the ind- – I would, I would have to call every individual builder to ask them to stop the nonsense, you know, or have a, have a total revolution in the attitude. But I figure if I can just get regulatory control or influence through the city council, we can start turning this around and start enriching the souls – of the people of Adelaide with some beautiful architecture. What do you say? Mm-hmm. That sounds great. <laughs> it would be nice to see some different buildings going up, definitely. Hot dog, would it ever. It's these, the current modern buildings, they're, so, they're obviously like they're designed to be looked out of, right? Like they're not designed yeah. to be looked at. They're designed selfishly yeah. as glass towers for the people in them to look out. But then the problem is you have only those glass towers and then what, what are you looking out at? Just like more horrible glass towers? Let's get, you know, big, beautiful cathedral-looking stuff out there. Stone, <laughs> yeah. masonry, stained glass instead of just ordinary, plain, blue, tedious glass. Mm-hmm. So who has that power? I, um, I'm just going to pop you on hold and I'm just going to see um, – what I can find out. for Is there any particular building that you're referring to? or Have you ever seen um, the cathedral in Milan? It took them like 500 years to I build. I have. It's I something, have, right? But, yeah. So that's but what I like. In Ad- okay. Yeah. So the buildings in Adelaide, um, in particular, is there one that's kind of, um, yeah, caught your eye that you you're not agreeing on, so I have some kind of idea. Yeah, you look, I, look, I mean, I think the cathedrals are pretty good. I think the Maya Centre was a fair attempt at getting a beautiful uh, structure. I think even the Adelaide Oval, because there was a big hubbub over, mm. you know, like it yeah. was beautiful before, and then people really fought to retain uh, some design elements that have made that the envy of the world in terms of ovals. Mm-hmm. Ivy and yep. red brick. You know, these are, are wonderful things. Uh, and in terms of like what I think is bad, like the Westpac building is an obvious, I mean, that's hubris incarnate, isn't it? It's just an enormous pink phallus um, doing nothing for no one, in my, opi- in my opinion, in my opinion, just mm-hmm. my opinion. But all, all yeah. those new ugly office glass boxes, I mean, I, I think even mm-hmm. building up that high is uh, if we could put a, a cap like, Paris or, you know, Edinburgh is smaller. But I think mm-hmm. of, you know, when you're walking along North Terrace, all those beautiful old facades, mm-hmm. oh, they're terrific. Yeah. And when you're, when you're on Rundle Street and you see those, you know, those beautiful two, three-storey buildings with the, the domiciles mm-hmm. on the top floor but just the businesses yeah. on the front, I, I'm opposed to zoning as well. I think if we have good walkable cities, we can have communities and relationships with one another rather than yeah. this sad, isolated, driving hellscape. Okay, I'm just going to pop you on hold. I'm just going to see um, who I can direct you to, who you could probably put your inquiry through to. I appreciate that. I don't know if the Lord Mayor <laughs> is you. around. Um, no, I don't think so, but I can um, get a contact email for you. So I'm just going to plan I don't believe hold, in email, okay? but please do. Thank you.
Did you know that City of Adelaide residents can now access two reuse and recycle hubs for tricky to recycle items? What? To see a list of possible recyclable items and to learn more, go to cityofadelaide.com.au slash reuse dash recycle dash hub. Yeah, because it's like there's no special battery bin. We're meant to go to a battery depot. We've got a lot of batteries in going through at the moment. Thank you for your patience. Um, so I've taken on your feedback and um, what I can do is I can provide you the email address um, for the Lord Mayor. Cool. If you'd like to take that down. Yeah, we'll take so that down. It's, it's Lord Mayor. Lord Mayor. At cityofadelaide.com.au. Mm-hmm. Um, what I've done, James, is, is I have taken um, your concerns down. Yep. Um, did you want a reference number for um, this call? No, that's totally fine. Um, I'm, I'm not a okay. big fan of emails because I think people, things get lost in them. Does the Lord Mayor mm-hmm. have um, like a, an office or like a PA I could speak to? Um, I've only got a email, I'm sorry, or the other option is to go into the town hall. Yeah, I'll come into the town hall. Yeah, well, I just I go to the town you, hall. I don't, I don't know when she's in and out of the town hall, unfortunately. So no, it's cool. Um, the best I'll just pop in. Is, yeah. All yeah. right. Thank you so much. No worries. You have a great day. You too. God bless. Thank you. You too. Thanks. Bye.